Hello, my name is Dylan Jones, and I would like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session, we will demonstrate the TerraSync workflow for Trimble Positions desktop add-in. The workflow steps include creating a geo database, data set, and feature class, creating a project with Trimble Positions desktop add-in, saving and transferring a data dictionary to the handheld, collecting data, transferring the collected data back to the PC, checking in the SSF file, and correcting the data. First, let's open up ArcMap. We will want to open the Arc Catalog toolbar and then choose a selected folder on your hard drive. So what we're going to do is create a Geo database by right clicking new and then file Geo database. And then we'll give this Geo database a name. I'm just going to call it TerraSync test. And then we'll right click on the Geo database go down to new and then feature data set and we're going to give the data set a name oh and actually you can't have spaces in the name so I'll remove the space here and click next then you'll select your coordinate system I'm just going to select WGS 84 and I'll hit next and then your vertical coordinate system, I'm going to not choose one, and then I'll hit next and finish. So now I have a data set created. Now I'll right click the data set, go down to new, and then new feature class. I'll give my feature class a name. And then an alias and then these are going to be point features. I'm going to click next and then one more time. Here's where we'll uh, enter in our field names. So these are going to be our attributes. I'm going to create one called color uh, which is going to be a text field and then here's your field properties. Um, I'm going to just give it a length of 20 characters and then don't click finish um, make sure you finish up the rest of your fields and then I'm gonna do a field called number and that's gonna be uh, it can be a long or short integer I'm gonna choose short integer and then one more field name I'm gonna call date and then I'm gonna give it the date data type then I'll click finish. So now we have a feature class that is uh, empty of data but it has our schema in it and it's been added to our ArcMap document. So I'm, what I'm going to do is save our ArcMap document uh, to our computer. And I'm just going to call it test for TerraSync and save. So now our next task is to create a project in uh, the Trimble Positions suite so uh, we'll go to our toolbar which in fact you can um, you know get it to show by going over to customize and then toolbars and then if you zoom down uh, you'll see Trimble positions we're gonna click on the desktop administrative and then projects and then we'll create a project um, the project type is going to be TerraSync and then we'll start so here you have your available layers. Um, you'll check on and off which layers you want. For the project, we'll click Next. And then on this screen, you can uh, play around with some of the layer settings. And I'm going to click Next. And then um, some more uh, settings that we can change. Um, and then we'll want to set it as the current project. And then here, successfully created. And so now our project appears here in this window. Uh, click on it and hit edit. Here we'll want to save our project as a data dictionary file. So we'll click on this button. 
and we're going to save the fields that we created in the feature class um, as a as a DDF file, a data dictionary file, which we will be transferring over to our unit. So let's just save that in the same folder as the whole project. And then we can click next uh, through these next few windows and finish. Um, it'll save the project. And then we'll click OK. So now we're ready to transfer the DDF file to our Trimble data collector using the data transfer utility. So that will be found under the Trimble folder and then GPS Pathfinder Office and then data transfer utility there. So the utility will pop open and we're going to send to the device. We're going to add our data dictionary file Oh, and I forgot to mention to connect your device to your PC. And then hit Transfer All. I already have it on my device, so I'll hit Next here. And then Close. And then Close again. So now we'll go out and collect our data using TerraSync software. When we're done collecting data, we'll plug in our device to our PC. Just make sure it's connected. And then we're going to go down to the Start button, All Programs, Trimble, GPS Pathfinder Office, and then Data Transfer again. So we're going to transfer over the SSF file we just created to our PC, so we'll receive it. We'll add our data file, and it's going to be this one I created here. And I'm going to put it in our project folder that we're working in. Uh, for this session, uh, which is just located on my desktop, if I can find it. Here it is. And then click Open and Transfer All. Then we can close out of the Data Transfer Utility. So now it's time to check in our SSF file to Trimble Positions. So we're going to do that by clicking on this button on the toolbar. And then check in SSF from TerraSync. And then click on the SSF file that you just created and transferred over. And hit Open. So it's going to import that file to our ArcMap document and I'll zoom in on it and these are the three points that I had created outside. And You can actually remove these graphics from the display here. Um, they just kind of tell you the status of uh, your features. And then I'll hit the identify button and it will uh, pop up with the attributes of the features I uh, had collected outside. And you can see as I go through these other points that the attributes are going to be the same as the fields that I created in the feature class and they also represent uh, what is shown in the data dictionary. So if you right click and open the attribute table you can see that the attributes were populated in the feature class. So that data you just collected is now added to your geo database. So now we can correct our data using post processing and that's found by clicking the correct button. So what we're going to do is hit correct using a processing profile that you had uh, already previously created and then it's going to run the correction and it'll let you know when it has finished the differential correction. And that would conclude uh, the TerraSync workflow, at least. And you'll see here the status that the data was corrected successfully. So just a quick summary. Uh, what we did today was create a geo database, data set, and feature class. Uh, we created a project. We saved and transferred a data dictionary to our handheld. We collected data. We transferred the collected data to our PC. We checked it in and differentially corrected the data. 
This concludes today's Frontier Precision Tech Talk. We hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. Thanks!